If we could stop and zoom in on the sea anemone real quick. There we go. Okay, let's get in there. Oh, I'm gonna get a toe down here. So what we're zooming in on is an example of how even uh, dead animals uh, still provide habitats for any number of other organisms. Um, this is uh, what appears to be a dead sponge sp stock from a glass sponge. Clear to zoom. And what's happened is that uh, it's provided a home for several other organisms. Partial. This, for example, right. is a sea anemone. I believe it's a flytrap anemone. And uh, these will uh, settle on these stalks in order to take advantage of the water the, current. Uh, uh, yeah, as you can sort of see uh, from the way the tentacles are uh, extended out into the water, <clears throat> they're predatory, so probably catching little uh, crustaceans and so forth. Um, but sometimes you can hide uh, a little critter right around the mouth of something. And here we see a, a, a cute little polychaete worm. I believe that's a scale worm. And it's living right on the surface of this flytrap anemone. Um, I, uh, a lot of, I've seen other examples of this where the uh, thinking is that the worm actually takes advantage of the food that the sea anemone eats. Uh, so the worm, down the sea anemone doesn't really benefit a lot from the uh, worm itself, as far as I know, but uh, <clears throat> there are often examples where the benefit to both parties is unclear. Um, as we spool down uh, the stock, oh, and there's another polychaete. We're seeing uh, examples of uh, brittle stars in the family Ophiocanthidae. These are frequently um, uh, commensals or uh, animals that live right. on stocks up, rising up above the bottom of the seafloor. Uh, again, these are probably uh, taking advantage of the water current as organic particles uh, or other types of small food uh, are brought by the uh, ocean they currents by them. A little more. Uh, and these are captured on the spines that the arms are covered with. And at some point, the tube feet sort of wipe them off and mm -hmm. move them to the mouth for food. Um, looks like a lot of these are less in feeding mode and more in holding on mode. Oh, and look at this. There's actually a, a little black coral um, right down at the bottom. Chris, we were talking about um, associates earlier of the uh, Chrysogorgia octocoral. So here's an example of associates associated with a sponge, in this case a dead sponge. But then we even had associates on the associates. So you were talking about some, some uh, scale to the worms, lower worm. polychy worms that were on the anemone. And as you noted, that is uh, not an unusual observation, which suggests that there may be a scale worm species that is preferentially on these anemones. That's right, and every um, <clears throat> animal that you're seeing here is conceivably something that is uh, also unknown to science. And so um, there's uh, still yet a lot to learn uh, from uh, surveys of, of these kinds of uh, relationships. Um, so as long as we're here, um, Pilot, I understand that you've just all had a, a big change out? We have. This um, is the after lunch bunch. I'm. Uh, delighted to have you all here. Perhaps you could introduce yourselves. I'm uh, Dave Wright, sitting in the pilot chair at the moment with the Global Foundation for Ocean Exploration. We operate the ROVs for NOAA. To my left, I have... I'm Fernando Aragon, sitting as navigator. To my right... Andy Lister, sitting as co-pilot. And far right in video... This is Roland Bryan, just off camera. And Tara Smithy, clipping the video. And uh, this is Chris Ma from the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History. I co I'm the co-biology lead uh, for this expedition. Uh, we're assisted by... Nicola Rodriguez from the University of Hawaii at Hilo. And uh, currently um, engaging with other uh, expedition details is Chris Kelly from the University of Hawaii. So. Uh, and we're um, moving hey, along I'm this looking over at 060. Zero zero. Is that going to be the completely uh, undiscovered and unexplored match up with Hypac for our next move? This uh, area was only just 